So Kara, you're a licensed clinical social worker and a psychotherapist. What's the difference between a psychologist, a psychiatrist, and a therapist? There are distinctions. So a psychologist is someone who's got their doctorate in psychology. So they've gone to school for a PhD. They can do talk therapy, diagnose, and treat through a therapeutic relationship. But a psychologist cannot prescribe medications. And a psychologist also has to be licensed to practice therapy in that state, which requires an exam and certain level of clinical hours. A psychiatrist is a medical doctor who's completed medical school and then done residency in psychiatric training. A psychiatrist can diagnose and treat and treat with medication and prescribe meds. A psychiatrist also is not always gonna do psychotherapy. They can, it's not really the most cost effective. Most of the time they'll do a full assessment evaluation, prescribe a medication if needed, and then meet with a client or a patient for medication management, so maybe short appointments every couple of months. If you're seeing a psychiatrist and on medication, it is encouraged to also see a therapist. Now a therapist is usually master's level, like I am at LCSW, which is licensed clinical social worker. So it's a master's level training in either psychology, social work, counseling, and post-masters, Depending on the state, I know New Jersey is about 2,000 hours of clinical work while being supervised regularly and then passing a licensing exam in order to practice in that state. So that's, hope that answers your question. Two other terms I want to ask you about, counselor mm -hmm. and coach. And both of those sometimes have therapeutic offerings too, right? Yes, so a counselor is another, a lot of social workers call themselves counselors as an LCSW. I say I'm a counselor, a therapist, psychotherapist. So it's usually a master's level, training and licensing. A coach is not considered a medical provider. However, a coach can be really helpful. A coach can help you work on setting goals, help you learn strategies, help you problem solve, but you're not able to then submit any of the claims or be reimbursed as a medical provider because coaching is not, it's not regulated in most states, so anyone can technically call themselves a coach, whereas you can't call yourself a social worker or an LCSW unless you're licensed with the state, same thing with psychologists. So it's an unregulated area that's not considered reimbursable through healthcare, but can be really effective depending on what your needs are. So it sounds like there's a lot of choices, and if you are wanting to get some mental health help, how do you go about finding someone who's gonna be right for you? Do you just Google them? Do you ask a friend? What do you recommend? There's a lot of different ways. Asking a friend is always, is always helpful. There's some websites like psychologytoday.com is one of the most common websites where you can look up your zip code and look for a therapist or a psychiatrist. And therapists could either be psychologists or master's level counselors or therapists. They're pretty interchangeable on that site. And you can read through and look. That's always a good place to start. And your medical doctor could also recommend someone and a psychiatrist could recommend someone. But if you're seeing a psychiatrist for medication, you probably also want to be seeing a therapist as well. So they go hand in hand.